Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Kidantes. An urgent search is underway for a diver who went missing more than 24 hours ago off the coast of the Fort Pierce Inlet. He was free diving near the Halsey shipwreck. That's a little more than 10 miles from the inlet. St. Lucie County Sheriff's deputies say the man never came back up. The St. Lucie County Dive Team, U.S. Coast Guard, and Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission are all assisting in this search. Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Huberman joins us live from the Fort Pierce Inlet, where multiple agencies have passed through to search for this diver. Dylan. Liz, I'm told the missing divers, 39-year-old Virgil Price of West Palm Beach. Crews have been searching since yesterday morning. Today, I've seen the Coast Guard and the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office Marine Unit zip through the inlet here behind me looking for the missing man. Sunday morning was the last time anyone saw Virgil Price. He was free diving the Halsey shipwreck several miles south of the Fort Pierce Inlet around 10 a.m. According to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, he has not been seen since. Monday, emergency personnel from the Coast Guard and the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office Marine Unit joined FWC on the water. Time is of the essence when somebody goes missing. Time is of the essence. You can't get there quick enough. Search parties raced out of the Fort Pierce Inlet shortly after 1 o'clock Monday afternoon, desperately searching for the missing man. Paul Seldes is a dive instructor who has experience at this particular wreck beneath the ocean. In this particular area where the Halsey wreck is, uh, it's not easy diving. It's not crystal clear water there. Visibility um, around the Halsey wreck tends to be only okay at best. And I've, I've been diving on this wreck many, many times over the years. And that area is prone to some pretty significant currents. There's a lot of debris spread out over a fairly wide range. Um, that also presents hazards. Sergeant Nate Evans of the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office Marine Unit says the mission is still search and rescue as they hold out hope that Price is alive. You're still looking for a human body ultimately, but you're acting in a more urgent pace. Um, a search and recovery then goes into a more slow and methodical grid type style search. Crews say they plan to continue searching through the evening. Be sure to download our free CBS 12 News app. And we will alert you with the latest breaking developments. For Pierce Dillon Huberman, CBS 12 News.